people want to know, well, what about competition? We have two schools coming together, and they're playing volleyball. They're at a cross-country meet on a Saturday morning. Or, as everybody wants to know, what about football? And those activities are going to look different, too, but they will resume. Some reassuring news for the sports fans out there out of Montgomery. A lot of reason for optimism for coaches and players in fall sports all right now in summer preparations. You heard from Superintendent Dr. Eric Mackey in news earlier. Meanwhile, on the sports side, he did address high school sports, said directly that the sports will look different, but they will be back. As part, According to right now, football, volleyball, cheerleading, cross country, and all fall sports look to be on track to be back. Mackey says he's been in touch with AHSAA Executive Director Steve Savarese multiple times per week, looking to create a plan to get athletes back on the field, but safely. So for instance, equipment, the balls and that the, 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 the they work with and other things, those are gonna be cleaned as often as practical and possible. Uh, some, there were early on some suggestions to clean the ball between every child touching it. Well, anybody who's played volleyball knows you can't do that and still play volleyball. But can you use a clean ball um, every time there's a, there's a stop in the game? So probably you can do that. There are ways to, to make it safer and cleaner than what we have done before. In addition to cleaning the balls and the equipment during stoppage in game play, Mackey also highlighted some other potential guidelines moving forward, including social distancing, like on the sidelines at football stadiums, as well as in gyms and arenas on the baselines and sidelines. Also social distancing in stadiums as well with the crowd. The good news is that the blueprint has been laid. We saw a lot of graduation ceremonies were able to do this very successfully, and they said that they will use that blueprint moving forward for them. One of the things we're talking about is that uh, the player's box in football is from the 30-yard line to the 30-yard line. If you can extend that down to the 20 or the 10, then people can be more spread apart. So we don't need the local mayor on the sideline. We don't need the county commissioners on the sideline. We don't need state legislators on the sideline. If you're not coaching, we need, we need to be distancing. And so there are ways we can reduce the congestion by re reducing how many people are out there. And I think that's, that goes back to what Dr. Harris was saying earlier. There are ways to continue the normal routines of our lives, but they're gonna look different than they've looked in the past as we do things to, to keep ourselves and one another safer. As we look forward to a return to play in high school sports, these are some important dates to keep in mind. July 7th, 8th and 9th, they'll discuss the roadmap as well as the Alabama Department of Health guidelines. On July 22nd, they will present those recommendations to the AHSAA Central Board, they being the Board Advisory Committee, as, long as, as well as the AHSAA coaches and all the ones working towards best practices. Then on August 20th, Getting ready for those seasons to begin. Football, volleyball, and cross country officially open for competition on August 20th. As we heard, good news as we stand today. It looks like those things will be on track as of right now.